Hey everybody, Sinister Lex here, and it is Freelance Grinder Monday! And, uh, oh, let me do my intro real quick. Alright, so welcome back, it's Freelance Grinder Monday, and, uh, I am so freaking far behind, but I got so much done this weekend, it's really exciting! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! So, but before we get going, I'll tell you what I was kind of doing before I made this video. You guys are actually kind of lucky that I'm getting in here to make a video today. I didn't think I was going to have time again today, but it turns out I do. Why? Because I was recording this freaking webinar about copywriting, and about 15 minutes into this thing, this thing that I've been working on for months now, freaking neighbor guy decides, oh, you know what, I think I'm weed eat my freaking lawn today. Perfect day for a... Let's weed eat, guys. It's 2.35 in the afternoon. We're going to weed eat our lawns today because it's Lawn Weed Eating Monday or something for them. I don't know. For me, it was Webinar Monday, and I've been freaking getting ready to record this thing for a while. So, I got 15 minutes in, and that is going on, and you can probably hear it out there now because it's still going on because he has the biggest fucking lawn on the planet. Freelance Grinder Monday. Um, what was I going to talk about? I guess the main thing I wanted to talk about has to do with the rising talent deal and uh, what we discovered may actually be affecting whether or not you get invitations. So we've been looking at this for a couple days now. You know, we've had a couple weeks with the rising talent deal. I noticed in my, uh, ever since I got rising talent, I haven't been getting any invitations. I haven't gotten any, a single invitation, not one. So what is going on here? Why is that happening? Why am I not getting invitations when I was getting invitations before like crazy? Um, I don't know. I thought maybe it was something to do with the Rising Talent Badge, but now I'm not so sure. Now I think maybe it's something else because a friend who is on this channel brought something to my attention that I've actually noticed before in the past, which is that whenever, uh, whenever I got Rising Talent was right around the exact time that I stopped applying to gigs. And what he was saying is that when he stopped applying to gigs, he stopped getting invitations. That seems pretty crazy, right? But that seems to be the case with me as well. Because when I stopped applying to gigs, I stopped getting invitations. So he isn't in the same place I am. He's got like 200 hours or something worked on Upwork and I'm pretty much brand new. So he doesn't have rising talent badge. I'm pretty sure he has job success score. He has top rated status, all that stuff. So those are two different kinds of ratings and uh, they should have different results. My thinking is now that because I haven't been applying, that I may not be getting invited to gigs. People may not be finding me as easily for whatever reason. I don't know what malicious things Upwork is up to, but that does seem to be what's going on here. So I wanted to ask you guys, have you had this experience? Did my eye just twitch? I think I just saw my eye twitch. I don't know, I hope I'm not getting one of those eye twitches. Sometimes my muscle twitches, like right here, I get these muscle spasms and they are like uncontrollable. I don't know what it comes from. I think it's from sitting like this all day, moving a mouse around. Anyway, if you get those, I don't know how to solve them, but I just kind of try and move my mouse around a little closer to my body. I move it over here because it's crazy and freaking annoying, especially when it goes on for a couple days. Back to the thing in hand. Do you guys, have you noticed this? Have you noticed that when you stop applying to gigs, you also stop getting invited to gigs? Is that happening for you? I want to know. I want to see what other people's experiences are. Whenever I get a little bit more free time, I think maybe next week, then, uh... I'm probably going to apply to some gigs and see if I start getting invites again. I want to see if there's a, a real correlation here between this and if I can, you know, put two and two together if that's really what's going on. I don't know why they would do that. It doesn't make any sense to me why they would stop promoting you just because you're not applying. Like, I don't know what reason that would be for. What do you guys think they would do that for? Like, what reason do you think Upwork could even have for not wanting to promote you just because you're not applying to gigs? That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's all I wanted to bring up today for this video. I think I might do one more video here in a second because I had a different thing to talk about, but I don't think I want to do it in this video. That's all I got for this one. It's a short one. Let me know your thoughts on that. If you guys have noticed getting less uh, invites since you've applied to less gigs or applied to no gigs. I haven't applied to any gigs lately and I haven't gotten any invites. So that's kind of interesting. Drop it in a comment down below. Let me know. That's all I got for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time.